take for this heavyweight fight. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first. And now, and when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Mario Yamasak. Frank Mir, Brock Lesnar. And here we go. Joe Brock Lesnar burst onto the UFC scene to take on a very decorated former heavyweight champion in Frank Mir at UFC 81. And early on, Lesnar looked like he could dominate the fight. Most large dominant guys prefer to be on top, like Brock Lesnar. But there are submissions from the bottom. There are a lot of dangerous positions that a wrestler doesn't realize he's getting caught in, and that's exactly what Frank Mir did to Brock Lesnar. He set a trap, he allowed Brock Lesnar to stand up, and in Brock Lesnar standing up, Frank Mir wrapped a hold of one of the legs, got him in a knee bar, secured the submission, and got a victory. Body shot, incredibly strong is Brock Lesnar, and he uses that strength and his weight to really wear down his opponents. Yeah, his excellent wrestling makes for some vicious ground and pound. Postured up. It's well documented wrestlers don't like to be on their back. Brock Lesnar, national champion, in wrestling. Well, he has to be careful. He has to make sure that he don't, doesn't leave his legs behind like he did with Frank Mir and get caught in a knee bar. Oh, he's down! Inside the guard, posturing up. Frank Mir, the thing that makes him so unique is the fact that right to the leg, Joe. He's looking for a knee bar. Good defense. And the knee to the midsection. Two minutes remains in round number one. Nice left hands. Good exchange, both men. I don't know, he's got hurt again. Uh, he's down, down again. again. Good straight right. Under 90 seconds remains in round one. Nice inside leg kick. He lets him up. Listen to me, Camp. You gotta tie him up, clinch. You don't, don't get the takedown, you're going back to the strikes. You're looking the forward. lovely Edith gets us set for round number two. Here go, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? Second round, not a title fight, so this fight's scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Joe, I remember when Frank Mir fought in London against Ian Freeman, and it was a lopsided fight. Well, everybody thought that Frank Mir was going to beat Ian Freeman, except Ian Freeman. Ian Freeman came into that fight very emotional. His father was dying of cancer, and uh, Frank Mir held onto a heel hook and allowed Ian Freeman to punch him in the face. Oh, 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 over the top! This could be the... He's down again! Take a look at the replay, Joe. Just brutal punches from the top here. Just standing right over him, pounding his face in. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer, has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest, declaring the winner by TKO. Oh, <laughs>